Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome to Blood Bowl Chaos Edition with Light. This is a seasonal mini-series that I'm going to do, probably just about five episodes, because around this time of year, a group of my friends and I get together and play the actual board game version of Blood Bowl. It was put out back probably in the 80s, maybe the early 90s, by Games Workshop. Fun game, got little miniatures, go around and play quote-unquote football, but it's really a tactical combat game more than it is a football game, so it, it tends to be a bit enjoyable. And as you can see, there are humans, there are demons, and various things in between. So let's get started. We want to do a single player game. Let's, uh, yeah, let's begin a campaign. We're going to do a classic one. Blitz is not like the board game. I want to play this to brush up my skills with the strategies and remembering the rules of the board game. So no sense playing something that isn't the board game. Let's give it a campaign name. Let's call it Blood Bowl with Light. The difficulty level basically says whether or not the dice are fair, loaded in your direction, or loaded in your opponent's direction. So let's leave them fair for now. We roll bad enough as it is, we don't need to give it any help. And then the game type is just turn-based because it's a turn-based game. The races come from the Warhammer universe, so you've got all sorts of fantasy beasts and people. Some of them might be unfamiliar to you if you're used to D&D. Some of them will be incredibly familiar. High elves? Exactly what you'd expect. Pompous, pointy-eared jerks. However, some like the Nurgle, who basically worship the embodiment of pestilence, and Corn, who are all about blood and mayhem, might not be quite so familiar. My actual physical team that I'm going to be using for the tournament is Chaos. It's a more generic version of Corn uh, and Nurgle and those folk. We can choose ourselves a logo. Well, that skull is pretty nice. I used this the last time. I kind of like that. I'm going to keep this. Then we pick a color. I want something kind of blood looking. Let's go for a nice dark, dry blood color. Victory is in us. No. Hmm, need a better team motto. <laughs> we are chaos. No, that's lame. We are death. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. And then it gives you a little description. Who cares? Moving on. Oh, right. Always forget to put in the team name. Uh, we're not officially a corn team, but since we are chaos, we could be corn's horns. Because you see the horns on this guy's helmet? Well, the beastmen, who are the other people on the team, have actual horns. They come out of their actual head. So, yeah, corn's horns. We start here. We could win some money. And some prestige. If we lose, well, if we come in last out of everybody in the uh, series, then we're going to lose some prestige. We're probably not even going to get that far in this little uh, mini series. We might finish this particular cup. We might not. We'll see. Let's start. Now, this first episode will be longer than the others because we have to do the prep work, but it shouldn't be too much long. We have no players. We need to buy some with our million monies. So we definitely want four Chaos Warriors. There are only three types of players we can get with a Chaos team. Some other teams have more types. They're more specialized. The Minotaur, big, mean, and ugly, but really expensive and relatively unreliable. So I want these four Chaos Warriors, definitely. Well, one, two, three, four. And then for Beastmen, we want seven because we need 11 players on the pitch. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 11 players. We've got eight, uh, 180 left to buy other things we need, like rerolls and potentially an apothecary. Now, apothecaries, I believe, cost... Ooh, it only costs 50. So I'm going to take two rerolls and an apothecary. Because this is tactical combat, and there will be injuries, whether on my side or theirs. So yeah, having an apothecary around is probably a good idea. The rerolls, it's a dice game, 
you're going to need to reroll. I'm a rather conservative player, so I only take two, maybe three. Other players take between three and six. Halfling teams will take six rerolls. It's kind of scary. Uh, but that should be all we need. We've got our team. We've got our rerolls. Let's play. Okay, so our value is slightly under a million. Theirs is a bit over a million. That's ridiculous. Uh, no thanks. So I've got tons of money with which to get additional stuff. We could buy extra players. Fair play, we could get another apothecary or a wizard. Eh, on the fence about wither, wi wizards, not withers. We're not playing Minecraft. Bribes, I don't foul. Extra training. Bloodwiser babes are kind of nice. They get people back from KO. We can't get a master chef. Extra team training gets us more rerolls. Potions can't do anything because it's not blitz mode. So our options are an extra reroll or two and uh, coming back from KO or a star player. Our options for star players are Grashnak Black Hoof Minotaur. He is stronger than the regular Minotaur, but equally unreliable. He's got Frenzy, so he keeps trying to hit things. He's got Loner, so we can't really use the um, rerolls very well. But he doesn't have Wild Animal. Normal Minotaurs have Wild Animal that makes them really unreliable. This guy doesn't have that. He might actually be well worth the money. Because he's really strong. He loves putting guys on the ground. I kind of want to take Grashnak. Uh, our other options, Morgan Thorg is too expensive. Lord Borak, the Despoiler, he's pretty okay, but for 10 more to get uh, Frenzy and an extra strength, might be worth it. Versus a couple of rerolls and Bloodwiser Pips. Ah, this guy's way more fun. This is about fun. Let's hire <laughs> Grashnak. And then we've got uh, 20 left. Can't buy anything with 20, so let's go. And we're up against the Skritz Razor Claws. Skaven team, bunch of rats. Uh, they've got gutter runners who are ridiculously fast. None of them are particularly um, squishy. I mean, they're roughly the same as humans. Um, however, the gutter runners are weak. They... I believe only have a strength of two, so it's very easy to get a lot of dice to roll against them. We've got quite a few people here on the uh, boat. Fort Chaos versus Skaven. I've got the levels of the uh, announcers pretty low so you can hear me the whole time. If the levels are a little wonky, let me know. Um, choose my team roll. Do I want to kick or receive? I want to kick. I want to destroy those rats as much as possible. So, now we need to set this up in a way that we like. So you and you switch places. Uh, you here, you here. You come back a bit. They are rats. They might be able to get behind me. You here, you there. This guy up here. And this guy here. I do like symmetry. That looks good because he'll push his way in and cause some serious destruction. And let's see, that should be good. Let's go. Where do we want to kick it? That looks like a good place. Kaboom! Kickoff table. Blitz! The defense starts their drive a fraction before the offense is ready, catching the receiving team flat footed. I get a free bonus turn, however, players that are in enemy tackle zones at the beginning of this free turn may not perform an action. I totally forgot about this, or I wouldn't have put the Minotaur on the line. Okay. But that means I could sneak this guy in, knock that guy down, and potentially get the ball. That's awesome. But that's not the first thing that we need to do. Oh, but there's no clear way in. I would need to dodge. Hmm. So before anything weird happens, let's get 
people into position. Uh, just in case things do go poorly. You go up there. You come here. You get in the middle in case something goes badly. And now for the bad idea. That, oh, that's a really bad idea. It would be better to knock this guy down and keep walking in. And we knock him down! Oh, thank you, Dice. And then end up right there. That should be good. Where did the ball land? Show me the ball. How did the ball get all the way over there? Apparently something weird happened. Yep, the rats are a bit dodgy, so they can very often walk right by me, but other times, that happens. They end up on the ground. Okay, so first you um, cover him. Now you get this guy out of the way. Double skulls. This would mean I go down to the ground. Let's reroll that. That's why we've got. Let's push him there and follow. Out he goes! Wow, these dice are being friendly. I don't trust it. You are a gutter runner. Time to die. Or be pushed. You close that gap. I could be really offensive and just try to run up there and hit him, but... Then they'll just sneak right by. They they move too fast. Okay, Grashnak, prove your worth. Worth! <laughs> uh, it could have been better. Out for lunch. Take him out. Ooh, foul appearance. Uh, this stinky guy right here with foul appearance, if I roll a one, I can't hit it. So it goes. Okay, you take him out. No good. Push him here. Don't fall. You take him out. That is not out. Ugh. Could have been better, but with how nice my dice had been for some of the other bits, I'll take it. And he tries to run past me. Oh. I see. <laughs> I have never made an interception before. That, wow. That was thoroughly unexpected. Um, okay. You, prove your worth. Hit him again. That's what Frenzy does. He gets to hit him again if he only pushes them. And down he goes. So we've got our rats in a box right there. What should we do next? Um, probably the best move would be to walk and hit this guy. Don't roll a one. Awesome! Down he goes. Yes, follow. Ding dong! Knocked him out. Okay, now you get in the way up there. Uh, 
Okay. Yep, let's do what we need to do. So we walk here and hand it off to that guy. Yes, re-roll that. Really? You had to roll a 3 plus on two dice and you couldn't do it? Oh, that was really fast. He tried to dodge out and broke something. Okay. Um, well, before I try to pick up the ball, punish. Uh, I don't have block, so I will push. And now I will knock you down. Right over here. Broken now. You will stand up and go over here. Okay. You knock him down. Or not. You knock him down. That's more like it. Okay. So, out of all the rest of them, my best move is to pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Thank you. Um, I don't like being on the sideline. I might be closer to being hit, but if you're on the sideline, they can push you out, and it's just bad news. Okay, so now you need to get up here. Okay, you punish. That's not punishing enough. How about you? Do you want to punish? Apparently not. How about you? Apparently not. It's embarrassing. Push. Do not follow onto the sideline, thanks. You. Maybe a little destruction? Apparently not. Ding dong! Knocked him out. It's good enough. Follow him. Okay. Apparently I put the camera on manual. Got anything interesting, fellas? Not, I'm gonna score. That's not interesting enough. Yeah, I'll take that push. You're pretty quick, but I don't think you're fast enough. Nope. So, I could punish, or I could score. I'm gonna score. The dice have been friendly, but... Touchdowns are more important. Not... Necessarily because I want to win the game, but because they get you points for upgrading your players. So every time he scores, he gets... Well, after the first touchdown, he's halfway to getting a new skill. And right now, their only skill is horns. That's an attribute. Ooh, ding dong. Five of them off the pitch. One coming back, so numbers are on my favor. In my favor, at least. Uh, so, yeah. Not a whole lot of rat. <laughs> not a whole lot of rats on the field. Uh, organize my players before kicking off. Good enough. Except... Uh, let's send it right there. Bonk! Oh, throw a rock! Oh, we tied. They throw it at both of us. Oh, not stair clap. Uh, use the apothecary on badly hurt. He's out for the game, but not for the next. Their team is already down a lot. I am not going to use my Apothecary. Just in case they somehow manage to kill somebody. Oh, and the guy that they were going to give the ball to got hit with the rock. Oh, got a runner. They're squishy, but they're fast. 
And he's got two heads so he can see where he's coming and going so he can dodge better. Yeah, these rats have lots of interesting mutations. And I'll take that push. Okay. So is there a way for us to break into their lines? There kind of is. Let's hit this guy. I'll take that pow. Pow! I do not want to follow. Oh, there he goes. Two star player points. Now, Grashnak, time to make an opening. Uh, let's see. I'll take that pow. Okay, now he's off the pitch. So I could actually walk in there. Yep, I'm going to do it. And they're going to focus all their efforts on trying to knock him down. Meanwhile, <laughs> bad things are going to be happening to them. So you come up here. You come up here. What are you? You're a thrower? Yeah, you can be there. You here. You here. You get that guy. You stand out here. Just in case something weird happens. You keep the sideline. You get right there. That should be good. Okay, rats, do something fun. A bit less dancing, please. This is Blood Bowl, not a nightclub. Oh. Yeah, it's weird that the AI talks back. Um, I'll take that push. Are you going to dodge away from Grashnak? Come on. You know you want to. You're going towards the ball, away from the ball. Towards the ball, you are the thrower. Oh, they're trying to pile up on Grashnak. That's such a bad plan. I love bad plans. <laughs> or they're trying to make a squishy rat cage. We'll see. Squishy rat cage. Hello? Hello? Their timer is going down. Oh, well, they um, didn't try to get the ball away from Grashnak. Time for uh, Grashnak to take the ball. With a vengeance! Okay, he has an agility of two, so he really should not be picking up the ball. Uh, he didn't blitz, so he can't move anymore, so somebody else needs to do the job. Um, you hit that guy. I'll take that pal. You hit that guy. Push. Hmm. Nope, that's no good. Here? Nope. You just go there. You hit that guy, please. Thank you, I'll take that pow. Okay, time to converge. You get right there. You get up next to that rat as well. You mm, here. 
you stay here for the moment. You, I want you to blitz this guy. And now, try to pick up the ball. And that's why I say try. Chaos is not known for their ball handling skills. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. Just needs to roll a three on a six sided die. But they never seem to be able to. But Grashnak is there guarding the ball. They're not going to pick it up. And that's what happens when they try. Mm. Oh, Grashnak gets to shove him into the crowd. I'll take that push. And then hit him again. And I'll take that push. <laughs> We're trying to pick up the ball. Let's put them on the ground. You come up here, give an assist against this rat guy, put him on the ground. Oh, so close. Okay, you move up a bit. You No, don't go through the ball. <laughs> okay, now you pick up the ball. There we go. Um, do I go for it? Do I play it safe? Ish. Yeah, I'll go safe ish. Because in this game, we're notorious for falling down and tripping over the goal line. And I mean, look, it's made of rope. It's actually there to be tripped over. No, thank you. Uh, this guy. Um, should probably help by getting in the way somehow, but there isn't really a good place for it. So he'll come... Ooh, that's a terrible idea. Oh, this guy's still standing. You. No. You come over here and make sure they don't go that way. Okay, that should be good enough. Come on, do something fun. Dodge out so I can kill you. That's not dodging out. That was embarrassing. Uh, this is the last play of the half. I suppose I could try to knock someone down. Can I reach it? No, nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Just gonna score. Oh yeah! There we are, and it's half time. No cheerleaders. Poor guy that got badly hurt. But we've got a spare guy because we bought Grashnak. And look at their pit. Oh, they got a gutter running back. Gutter runner back. So that's another guy we get to put out. 
Knock them down. Break their necks. Uh, receiving the kickoff. So we'll bring some guys back a bit. Such that they can also fail to pick up the ball. <laughs> there we go. And kabunk. Oh, he had a mechanical arm. Brilliant coaching. We all get free rerolls. Boink, boink. Okay. Do we have someone worth hitting there? Lineman. Not necessarily worth hitting. But that is Grashnak's job. And down he goes. Okay, guess I'll pick up the ball. Awesome. And then... Classic Blood Bowl. We make ourselves a cage. Such that the rats will dash themselves on our shores. We definitely want to hit the gutter runners as much as possible. Like that! Mm, not as good a hit as it could have been, but so it goes. Okay, you! Take him out! He's got block and claw, so let's just push him. Do not fall. You! Take him out! I'll take that pow. There. No fall. And that's my turn. Bring it on, rats! Uh, KO'd? Nope. <laughs> yes. Got a runner. Stand next to the Chaos Warrior. Okay. So we got a gutter runner. Uh... Storm Vermin. Interesting. Uh, that means he doesn't have a good block. He always has a good block. So yeah, let's take this guy out. Not quite out enough, but that's fine by me. Okay, we'll move this guy here to cancel that this guy's assist. And now we can hit this gutter runner. But he's got dodge. Shame. Okay. So now we take this guy and blitz that gutter runner. I'll take that pow. Pow! Let's follow. And now we move the cage forward. Little by little. We don't need to be fast. We're chaos. Let's see. Where should I bring this guy? I think up here would be good. Awesome. Next turn! 10 and 16. Come on, rats, do something fun. Uh, I do enjoy uh, Bob and Jim's stories. I might not have them in uh, future games because they do tend to repeat their stories a bit. But we'll see. And if you really like them, leave a comment saying, Oh yeah, we love Bob and Jim. Leave them in. Otherwise, I will see what happens. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys being in the way. So let's get this guy out of here. 
I'll take that path. And I will follow. Okay. Let's hit this guy. And let's re-roll that. That's more like it. Let's knock him up there. And not follow. You move here. You move up field. Make them think I'm going to pass it to you. You hit that guy. That's a push. And now for the fun part. Smash it, smash it! Um, I don't have block, so I'll take the push. And hit him again. Frenzy, frenzy! And apparently the mighty blow wasn't enough. Shame. And then go back to where you were. And that's good. I know I could have probably moved it upfield a bit, but there's no sense taking risks. They're just bouncing off of my shell anyway. Looks like they might just be standing up and waiting for me to hit them again. Well, they got one hit in. Okay. When in doubt, hit a gutter runner. And he's got dodge. I know I'm putting this guy in jeopardy again, but that's fine. I'll take that foul. Do not follow him. You. Destroy. Uh, pow. And uh, here. Ding dong. Okay, you come up here. You take him out. Out you take. And yes, you follow. Ding dong. So that means I can now move him up here. And have this guy hit that guy. And push right there. Do not follow. You do not throw one die block. Next. Dodge, dodge. Really? That was a really high risk maneuver. Not much reward from it, either. Okay, you hit that guy. Cover! Okay, so you've got a movement six. One, two, three, four, five, meh. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be good. You go there. You annihilate. Shame. Uh, straight up. And annihilate again. And push again. Uh, that way. You go here, just in case something goes wrong with this play. You go here. You go there. 
you walk and hand off. Awesome. And we run it in. Ah. Sweet. Hey, we got our uh, knocked out beast man back. Let's see how the rats did. And they got two. Three. Nope, just two. Two of their rats back. That's still five of them off the pitch. Uh, yeah, that's a good enough place. Oof. They really don't have a lot of rats left. Boink, boink, boink. Oh man, that is really close. Where are you going to go now? Grashnak's right there. Kweeba. Down he goes. Oh, leaving the ball carrier wide open. That's going to be so bad for you. So very bad. Okay, so there's the ball. What do we do about it? First, we get this guy away from it. Push is enough. That's not a push. Push is enough. We knock him down. And yes, we do want to fall. Um, let's pick up the ball. Mm. Welcome to Chaos and their amazing ability to not pick up the ball. Granted, we're up 3 nothing. We didn't really need to pick it up. That was not a good idea. Because for every person that's around the ball, you lose one to picking it up. So with three people here, he might have needed a six on a six-sided die to pick that up. Ugh. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. Push. And a pow. Let's pow him that way. Okay. You hit that guy. Reroll that. I'll take that pow. Ding dong. Okay, so they use their apothecary to keep him from being off the pitch, like, permanently. Uh, let's move this guy here. No. Uh, this guy. Here. Yes. Need to get as many people around the ball as possible. Because even if I don't pick it up, it'll keep them from doing so. Here. Assist there. Assist here. You keep an eye on that guy. You take him out. Push. Okay, let's try this again. He's got the ball. Uh, you are face down, so you run over here. Jump, jump, jump. And that guy can just stand there. Turn 15 to 16. Come on, Skaven. Three touchdowns in two turns. If anyone can do it, it's you. <laughs> do you see how far that guy ran? Oh man, how fast are they? Movement of nine. My fast guys are movement six. Um, 
last turn. So yeah, let's just run it in. I'll get more points from him running it in than from knocking anybody out anyway. Because you only get star player points when you get the red cross. You ring their bell, you don't really get anything. There we go. Whole lot of nobody in my uh, knockout and reserves. Got the one guy that was injured early on. Not bad. To their four. Ooh, two rats back again. That's pretty decent usage of probability there. Because you got a 50-50 chance of getting them back. You can expect half of them to come back. So kicking off again, we will leave people how they are. Rats aren't going to score on this, I don't think. But again, if anyone could do it, it's the rats. Scatter runners are really fast. Quick snap the offense. Okay, do your thing, offense. Oh. And he picks up the ball. No, oh, he guards the ball. The thrower picks up the ball. And does nothing useful with it. Seems the AI doesn't realize it's the last turn of the game. Bush. Uh, sometimes it'll be two dice my way. Like, I'm stronger than they are. They roll two dice and I choose. So if there was a skull here, I would take it. Yeah, you can't do anything to Grashnak. And that's the end of the match. Four nothing. That was not a good showing, Skritz Razor Cause. Not a good showing at all. Chaos should never score four times. In general, these games should go to a 2-1 victory one way or the other. Occasionally, you might get a 2-2 tie. If it's really harsh competition, you might only score once. But 4 nothing, mm, That's embarrassing. Now, we were playing on medium. If it were on hard, uh, the dice would not have gone my way nearly so much. Rolled a 1 for my winnings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to re-roll that. Thanks. Uh, so, yeah. 40,000. Got ourselves a fan. Uh, let's see. That's not bad. Uh, the match rating, I'm not sure how they calculate it, but I really think it should be higher. Uh, maybe I didn't have the ball enough. Maybe I... Jeez, I was in there half most of the time. I don't know what they could have wanted more from me. But we'll see. Next... And now we come back to our roster, and one of our players has leveled up! Let's take a look. Nartigors? What did he do? Uh, star player points of six. Well, Stairclap Grosspinch was probably our MVP, unless he scored a touchdown, which none of the Chaos Warriors did. So, Stairclap here was our MVP. It's chosen at random. Doesn't matter what they do. Um, so we've got these three guys who knocked people out, and then our four touchdowns, one, two, three, and four. So let's look at Narcadigors and see what we can get for him. Now, being a beast man, there are, uh, you roll some dice on doubles, you get a skill out of your normal wheelhouse. If you roll very high, you could also get attribute up upgrades. So we just get a regular skill. So we've got lots of things to choose from. If you want to know how all this works, I could make a video on that. But if not, I'll just pick the sort of things I want. Uh, Beastmen can take general, strength, or mutations. I will want them to have claw eventually, but the first skill you should always take is block. Block is so useful all the time on offense, on defense, it modifies how the dice roll. You saw the dice roll the the pow and the skull. Well, if you have block, the pow and the skull makes you still standing. And if they don't have block, they fall down, which is so good. And when they hit you that way, it works the same. Offense, defense, both. It's great. Always take block first, unless you're feeling weird. Um, there are times where you want to do some specialized team where you want everybody to have a prehensile tail to make sure people never dodge out. But block is really the way to go. And there we go. Uh, each time they level up, their gear starts looking better. So you can tell them from the other players just by looking at them. 
we got ourselves 50,000, which isn't really enough to buy much of anything because the rerolls should be 120 now. Uh, the apothecaries are 50, so we could buy, uh, I think we can only have one. Uh, we could buy things, but at this point, we should probably save up for a Minotaur. They're fun. And save up for replacement players in case someone dies. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Please leave likes, because that's how I tell whether or not I should continue the series. If you leave lots of likes, I'll do more than five episodes. Simple as that. Well, we'll probably look at the views as well. So if we get comparable views to the Minecraft videos and get a significant amount of likes, we'll go past the fifth game. Otherwise, I'll just do this for my own, you know, practice. And that's all the time I've got. One game is plenty. Probably took way too long of your time anyway. So I will see you in the next game of Blood Bowl Chaos Edition with light. <laughs> <laughs>